this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to complete sketchbook research. Now, this isn't a maths equation, so there's no right or wrong way of doing this, but there are some tips and some guidance I can give you as a good starting point for your own sketchbook. We're going to be looking at my own actual sketchbooks from jewellery design. Now, although the products might be different and the end result might be different, that process of working through different types of research and developing your sketching is going to be largely the same. So this will help you with your own sketchbook work. The theme for this project was Star Wars, which is a great visual starting point for any project really, because if you've seen any of the films, you'll know that there's lots of shapes, characters, colors, and themes within them. So it was a great starting point. Now, I always find when I'm completing my research that I need to start drawing straight away. So even just printing out images and copying them exactly without thinking about what the end result might be is a good starting point for your research. So here I've used watercolor paints just to create one of the characters. Um, here I've used ink to create another. And uh, throughout the pages, you'll see that I'm just making note of what it is I'm doing. And also I'll start adding in my own opinion and my thoughts and feelings as I go as well. So here I'm using HB pencils to do a sketch, adding a bit of colour and ink again. It's all just experimenting, so you really don't need to worry about what your product's going to be and finishing your design or even starting it at this point. It's just playing around, getting a feel for the theme that you're studying, the research that you're doing. And this goes on for a few pages. And then you can see within my sketchbook as well, I'm sort of experimenting with colour just to improve presentation and add in other elements as I go. I start to take individual aspects from the films and create some ideas and developments from them as well. So this is where your research and your design will start to cross over quite a bit because as you're doing research, you may have an idea pop into your head that you want to get down onto paper and that's absolutely fine. You don't have to have completed your research in one hit before you start your design ideas. It's quite possible for them to cross over each other. But throughout, even though I'm designing my product at this point, I'm still adding in extra research as I go. I'm developing my ideas through my research. It's ongoing. This project was still based on Star Wars, but it was to make a different product. So this was to design a necklace. Um, and again, I'm starting off with visual research, looking at images from the comics in this instance, and just drawing straight onto them, just playing around with the shapes. So it's not a case of creating a beautiful piece of artwork from each piece of visual research you collect. It's experimenting and just trying out things as you go. You know, again, I'm experimenting with the shapes. I've got a bit of tone in my drawing as well. Once again, adding colour. Before starting to develop into design ideas. This project followed the theme of Under the Sea, which is pretty obvious from the first page straight away. Again, visual research, looking at fish to begin with, experimenting with pattern and colour. And mark making quite a bit, looking at form and shape. Pattern again here. So on its own, without that piece of research, you wouldn't know what this is. It's just a piece of colourful artwork, but actually it's taken the inspiration directly from my visual research. And nothing yet on across all these pages, you haven't seen anything in terms of a design of a product. This is just exploring and researching, looking at visual images from the sea.
again line drawings I quite like doing line drawings from photographs just to get the form so I've not got any tone I find it easier to do a line drawing using a pen because it makes it harder to add the tone and then I'm just looking at shapes that I can recreate as well So this is where I start now. I've looked at visual research based on my theme of sea life, but I'm also going to start exploring materials, which is something you'll need to consider when you're doing your research pages. So I start to explore different ideas that I have. I don't necessarily know how I'm going to use these as an end product, but I just want to explore what is available to me or how it could be used. So I started off by looking at magnets and how they have been used within jewellery. Um, the product I'm making here is a sea life inspired jewellery item. So I just did a little bit of research of why they're used and how they're currently used in jewellery. I've also looked up the price of them because it's important to start thinking about the costing of your product. I also started exploring resin. It was something I'd seen on a piece of jewellery and I was quite interested in seeing how I could use it within my own designs. And I really quickly established that actually resin is used in a lot of different products to create completely different effects. So now a lot of these ideas and concepts I don't actually go on to use later on, but it's only by exploring these material areas and actually doing that research and figuring out how you might use them that you can eliminate ideas or decide to actually that's how you're going to progress with your ideas. I was quite interested in stingrays as an animal and also the texture of their skin. So that's something that starts to develop a little bit more throughout the sketchbook. And I decided early on that I wanted to create um, jewellery that could be worn alongside bikini wear. So again, I'm now researching the products of bikini wear. So it's not just jewellery, I'm, I'm encompassing other products as well within my research. So in effect this becomes my product analysis. Now as I said before I looked at um, Stingray skin and the texture and then I found that actually it's used as a product like leather. So at no point through this research sketchbook have I actually completed any design ideas. This is all just visual research at this stage. The design brief for this project was to design a set of silver jewellery that could be sold to women based on nature. Now I decided early on that I wanted to focus on birds within nature so straight away my sketching shows that and I'm looking at creating the shapes within my design so this project was very early on combining both design and research together. I like using tracing paper overlaid onto images so that I can actually create more simplistic shapes so if I had a shape of the bird for example here it's a heron and then I've drawn over it as a design for a piece of jewellery. I also find that by using different coloured paper to draw on within your sketchbook it breaks up the page a little bit, and makes it easier to fill the space and to find inspiration. This project was based on, this project was inspired by surfing and I was keen early on to create jewellery that could be worn by surfers or people that spent a lot of time on the beach. So obviously my visual research started by looking at the beach, looking at waves and water and creating my own sketches from them. I've even included poems in my research as I felt it was relevant at the time. Observational drawings are a great start for your research. You get a really good idea of form, shape and tone. 
I've looked at other existing companies that appeal to my target market. And again, I'm experimenting with different mediums. So because I'm using a black paper sketchbook, white gel pens work especially well on these paper. Again, I start to explore different materials. So I looked at driftwood because it's associated with the beach. And I'm continually drawing and then experimenting with different mediums. So I've used pastels here for this lionfish. Once again, I'm looking at existing products. So these are my product analysis that I've added in. And I'm starting to create a sense of style and a theme that I want my jewelry to eventually follow. Again, I'm looking at materials. So I was looking at coral and how it might be used within jewelry. More product analysis. And here I've actually started modeling. So I found a seahorse pendant that I did a product analysis on, but I then created my own using sheet silver so this is although this wasn't a final product this was me starting to build on my skills and also to just experiment and try out some ideas another material research page neoprene and again i've, I've played around with it i haven't created a product so i've just uh, had a go at cutting it and shaping it so i can see how it works so i can understand its working properties 